Regenesis log, stardate 00000000002. After millennia orbiting in deep freeze, I have returned home to find a frigid and barren wasteland. Any connection I used to feel to this place has crumbled to dust like my old dog Seymour. There are no trees to shade under or grass to walk upon. Nowhere to shelter from the wind, just infinite plains of vitrified wastes. But that of course is my purpose here, to bring back grasses and flowers and little doggies just like Seymour. Hey guys and welcome back to Post for Nem, the horrendous post-apocalyptic world where I have been sent from the past to the future to try and make everything alright again. Uh, as you can see the entire world, and I really do mean the entire world, is covered with this thin layer of obsidian. This was of course because my my last civilization, the, the people that I came from, decided that they didn't have enough stuff and they wanted to take it out on the people next door. And then the people next door decided they didn't have enough stuff and they wanted to take it out on our people and then they just kind of blew everything up you know as people that want stuff do there is a broken thing over there that I've not seen before that's crazy but we're not there to do this do that today we're not there to go and look at that we will get to adventuring at some point but right now I am feeling the lack of food but more than that in this wasteland on my own I'm filled with a horrible compulsion a compulsion to find out what is kept deep within my balls Let's go and find out, shall we? That's my inventory. This is the one. Let's see what we get out of these. Let's take everything out of here so we can watch exactly what comes out of these slime balls. Uh, we got some polymethyl methacrylate, maybe? <laughs> Mercury and water. A lot of water. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. This, this is nice. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to use that for, but we're going to keep it there. We're also going to pop these in. Oh, what did we just break down? Uh, silicon dioxide, so those are alright. Those are alright. Okay, so we are here to get on with some questings and stuff, right? So let's have a look, look in here, see what we're up to right now. We are up to, I believe, making a pickaxe and making some dirt. I think we're going to start with the pickaxe, uh, and then we'll make the dirt for, like, growing stuff. Look, there's a potato down here. This is what I'm working towards. I'm working towards the potato, because I think the potato might actually be able to uh, do us some food or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how we can make food yet. Uh, okay, so do I really need this? This bucket is fashioned out of scrap uh, salvage from my landing vessel. It will be very useful to move some water around, but maybe I can repurpose it once the task is done. So I, I need to move the water source in here somehow. Uh, put a bucket of water in the decomposer. You will get water that you can break down into oxygen and hydrogen, as well as some iron that you can use to make much needed tools. Brilliant. <coughs> uh, we've actually done this bit already, but let, let's go over there and press the right button it would help with water and iron look watch there we go brilliant reclamation um no we've done, done that okay we'd already done that we then got this okay i see what happened because i'd gone ahead and done that earlier it didn't let us do that okay whatever you know this is all part of how we do these things uh we've got primitive tools use the iron you got from the decomposer to make iron ingots with the synthesizer use 16 in the top left hand corner of the grid uh, I hear the iron pickaxe is not really what we want to go for here, but let's let's try it. Let's try it. Cellulose is not what we're after. Uh, we're gonna pop some water there. I don't think we're gonna need the water to be honest. Um, let's pop this out. Boom! Iron ingots. Brilliant. One, two, three, three. Got a third somewhere? No? Yeah, three. Brilliant. Okay, that's that's pretty good. So like that. Brilliant. Okay, and then we need to make a pickaxe. We'll do that. That's easy enough. It's easy enough. Iron pickaxe, and what are we going to get? We're going to get a bucket back, but we're also going to get some more iron. Because iron, iron is the way. Okay, so now I have a little bit of a, you know, a pick. I can go around and do things like this, and we can see what we can get out of this sort of stuff. Uh, I believe we're going to get some nice stuff out of here. Let, let's find out. We're going to have, um, I don't know, some limestone. What do we get out of limestone? Calcium carbonate, mainly. That, that's good. Some calcium, some carbon, and some oxygen. That, that's good. Cobblestone. Uh, we got some iron. Oh, okay, cool. That that's almost exactly what we want was iron. Um, <clears throat> so let's let's have a look around. What can we do? I mean, like this entire place could do with taking back, but I don't think I can mine the obsidian with this. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's um, let's just keep moving on with the book. The book is definitely the way forwards here. Uh, burning up. You will need to create a stone furnace to cook from. Uh, food and keep you warm on cold nights okay we can do that so round here somewhere hang about let's let's come up here there was definitely an area that we could use as just a stone mine look at this brilliant i'm just gonna 
dig this out because, you know, what, what else are we going to do? Alright, we'll go forward through this a little bit faster. We're going to get, I don't know, a stack of cobble. A stack of cobble to do as well, right? Alright, that's a stack of cobble. Woo! Exactly what we wanted, right? Uh, so, we were making this so we could get on with our quest, but the first thing we needed to do was build a furnace. That was definitely top of our list of priorities there. Boom. Oh, yeah. Give me them lovely questings. We're going to get some coal, and we're going to get more coal. We're just going to get lots of coal, and we're going to throw it all into this furnace here. Brilliant. I don't know what... Mm. Excuse me. I don't know what we're going to cook in there, but by heck, we're going to cook something. Uh, I want the gravel back on my bar. Night appears to be approaching. So we want to be safe. Need to be safe. Got to be safe. Let's do that. Let's put some light down. Definitely uh, something that was needed. One thing that I'd noticed last episode was me running around here in the dark, which is no good to anybody. Uh, all right, so over here, we've got some metals and stuff. We, we will go down that route at some point, but dirty job. Uh, if you want to be able to support more complex plant life, you're going to need to make some dirt. Okay, we can do that. Dirt is primarily made from silicates. Synthesizing some silicon dioxide will break down gravel and flint and sand to get it. Okay, well, I just happen to have a bit of gravel on me here from down there. And there's also gravel... Hang on, let's... Do you reckon we can do it quick? Can we do it quick? Uh, we're going to come up here. We're just going to nab out a load of gravel. I mean, look at this here. Can we do it without it all falling on top of me? That would be the best. If we could just take it from the top. Uh, I do fear... Like, look at that. I fear this gravel. I fear this gravel badly. Because it, it moves in ways that I'm not expecting. I expect gravel to just go straight up and down. Yeah, obviously, my real world experience tells me that gravel does kind of slump sideways. At an angle of repose of something about 30 degrees, I believe. But... This is not real life. This is Minecraft. And I'm used to gravel going, like, straight up and down. Definitely going to have myself a nice big second room back here. Perhaps now that I've got a pickaxe, I can think about sealing up this entrance way and digging myself a tunnel through. That might actually be a brilliant pan, but until then, I'm going to pop that there. And I don't know what, we're going to do about half of it. Let's turn half of it into silicates. It's a good idea, right? It's a good idea. Let's see what we get. Three. Three. That's, that's not even close to what we wanted. Let's put more in. Um, five. Uh, still not close. We might have to make up some uh, silicates. Um, yeah, no, I mean, we should be alright with that. Silicon dioxide, right? We, we can do that. Let's, let's try it. Well, of course, it's silicon and oxygen. Two oxygen. Silicon dioxide. Could have could have told you that without looking. I don't know why I, I did that. Uh, silicon dioxide. One, two, boom. One, two. Uh, that's, that's more than we needed. No, no, it's not. That's more, that's then how much we need. Okay, so we've got the silicon dioxide. Boom, eight of them. Fresh country smell. Dirt also includes some organic material. Run some silicon dioxide and cellulose through the synthesizer. And it, will make the it will add the necessary trace elements to make dirt. Okay, we can do that. Eight bits of dirt. Um, so, right, we'll pop this in there. Was it just one bit? Was it one and one? I don't know. Let's uh, let's call up the, the valuable dirt block. Uh, like the... the the best resource in this game uh, and it's one and one silicon dioxide and cellulose now the problem we got here is we need lots of cellulose and I don't think I have the stuff to make lots of cellulose um, 6105 Let, let's just pop that in okay so there's some cellulose how much can we make we can make two we can only make two it turns out um, where else are we gonna be able to get some cellulose now oh, wait I know I know I we can do this we can do that bomb. Oh, look at that. We've got nine bits of cellulose straight out. Um, okay, that's that's good. We've got to mix it with the silicon dioxide. So up here, we've got one of those and one of those gives us all the dirt. Uh, hopefully, eight bits will come spewing forth out of the machine. Brilliant. And let's have a look in here. That is all that. And we get to choose our reward, which to me, I don't know, I'm thinking food, even though the food... Oh, I've got some. I've got some meat ingots left. Let's eat some of these. I also just saw something wandering around out there. Um, that's that's terrifying. Look, we've got a skeleton over there. Uh, all sorts of horrible, horrible, nasty things on the go there. But we're getting some good stuff now. We're getting some good stuff, so we should be able to start thinking about making some food. Always wandering around at night. Night time. 
this is a good time for doing some chemical processes, right? We can't get out there, we can't have a look around, we can't see what's going on. Uh, mm, dirt. We're going with dirt. No, it's a spider. Alright, oh, it's a big enough spider. I was worried there would be a tiny one that could fit through there. What I'm really worried about is a skeleton coming and standing there, and then he could shoot me, like, doing whatever he wants to do. That, that would be quite inconvenient. Would, well, inf inconvenient wouldn't even begin to cover it. Okay, so we've done the dirt. But it, wow! Wow! Look how much we've opened up. Uh, renewable resources. That sounds like something we want to do. Uh, bringing trees back into the world will not only provide you with much needed building materials, because, you know, I could do with a house. I don't know about, like, this, this screams basement to me rather than actual house. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we'll do that. Uh, also provide you with another re renewable resource. Another? Where's my first... Like, is, is my... Uh, my uh, algae out there is supposed to be one of my renewable resources because it's not come through for me yet. i got to say that. It's not come through for me yet. Uh, crafting a sapling by combining two cellulose and two chlorophyll in the synthesizer. Two, uh, combining a cellulose and a... And, okay, let's, let's try it. Uh, a cellulose, chlorophyll. How did we make chlorophyll? I've got a feeling we get it out of the algae or something like that. Or we can just make it straight up. I, I can never remember. Chlorophyll. Oh, God, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. 35, 30, 5, 4. Um, let's break down a bit of cellulose. We got, we got many of these. Let's grab two. Um, let's get some stuff out. Get some basic basic building material. We got some magnesium. We didn't really get much uh, much carbon, which is kind of what I was after. Calcium carbonates would probably give me a lot. Carbonates, that's what we're trying to break down. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's not a lot, though. It's not a lot, it's got to be said. Um, let's break these down into yeah into tens tens sound good to me do they sound good to you kind of sound good we'll break these down and see what we can make There's those carbonates brilliant we'll get some more carbon not not much carbon out of that it's got to be said it's got to be said uh where else can we get <coughs> carbon from now the food is always good have we got some planks i reckon planks will turn them hate it when it steals my stuff like that Planks, maybe? Let's try it. Ba -bum. Got some cellulose. Cellulose will break down into carbon and oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, let's see if we can do it yet. So I appear to have literally just enough. So we're going to grab a chlorophyll. No, what are we missing? There's no way I don't have enough. Cellulose, silicon, water. It's carbon. I don't have enough carbon. How can I not have enough carbon? I must have had enough to put it down, all right? Sure, we had enough to put some down. Uh, okay, well, chlorophyll. There's a chlorophyll. Brilliant. All right, we have we've got one. So it's uh, chlorophyll and uh, one of those there. I really wish there was a way of keeping hold of all these recipes. Was that not it? Was it cellulose and two chlorophyll? That that wouldn't be fun. No, that's not the saplings either. Let's uh, have a look and see how to make it. Ah, there's one in the middle. Uh, two chlorophylls in the middle. So we need to make another chlorophyll. Are you kidding me? All right, well, I'm going to do that. I'll be back when I've got some sapling. Okay, so bad times. Whilst I was doing stuff, I managed to catch hypothermia. Um, now, what we can do about that is fire up this furnace, but there are other ways of doing things. If we have a look in here, still not made the chlorophyll, by the way. I'm literally just on the on the doing that. Whilst I was trying to make some more carbon, uh, it was cold enough for me, to be honest. If you've had the misfortune to set on a cold area or caught in the rain for too long, no, none of this. Uh, you're likely shivering to death. The torches you salvaged from the wreckage are not any help. They put out light, but don't generate any heat. Some old-fashioned torches will do the trick. Unlike chisel torches, normal torches will eventually burn out. So thing to remember there. You can make some coal using eight carbon in the synthesizer. What do you mean carbon? I've got, I've got coal. Wait, here. There we go. Um, ah, jeez, I've dropped the coal. It's always terrible. Okay, we're going to put one there and the rest in there. Uh, I did just turn my planks into carbon, which is rubbish, which means I don't have the torches that I need. There we go. The, the sticks that I need to make torches. There we go. Awesome. We're going to put one there, one there. I'm going to literally stand on top of the heating. Put that there. Break that. Put that there. That's, that's all of these, hopefully being able to keep me warm now. The hypothermia should leave me soon uh, and we are still trying to make carbon you, you can see i've just started uh, breaking down a load of cobblestone here uh we're looking for just anything that breaks into carbon well look, look at all this stuff we've got aluminium tin copper nickel pyrite mm, pyrites uh, iron oxides lead 
Germanium. None of these are the calcium, that I'm, uh, the carbon that I'm after. We do have more carbonates. Let's take this out. Let's take this out. Let's let's see what we can do. Let's take all the iron out. Do we have any iron? There we go. Um, it doesn't want to do iron. It doesn't want to do calcium. Take the nitrogen. Why is this one not? Oh, there we go. Uh, so we didn't get any carbon out of that. That's terrible. Well, let's break these down. Um, we'll get all these carbonates. We'll break those down into so many carbons and oxygens. Uh, so many oxygen. Oxygen coming out my wazoo at the moment. I'm not sure what to do about it. Gives extra air when mining underwater. I'm not sure when I'm going to be mining underwater, to be fair. Carbon, there we go. So we need another chlorophyll, which is another 35 actually remembered that off the top of my head there that's terrible that's terrible i've been doing this too often if that things like that are happening uh okay so extra bit of chlorophyll we got the extra bit of chlorophyll uh, <laughs> i just clicked it why would why would i not remember that and a bit of cellulose up yay no just a, just a single bit of cellulose up yay and then we get one of those brilliant oh wow that took some time um okay so we did the the torch request um uh, Going to take more torches or do we want some food? What's my food at? My, my food's not too bad. I think we're going to go for no, no, more torches. Keep this place warm. Keep this place warm. What can we attach torches to? There, there, there. Just going to go around, literally spam a few torches down. Maybe in the back door, back doorway as well. Um, let's just carry on laying things out. There appears to be an angry spider somewhere. Should we go and see what he wants? Pow. Pow. Oh, that was two, two extras. Oh, no. Oh no, my biggest ally, my biggest uh, enemy. Can we take him out from here? I wish he'd get out of the water so we would burn. I seem to be aiming a little high. There we go. Die, die. Wow, okay, so everything's a little bit off. You see how, how wide some of those shots were? I was trying, I was trying hard. Okay, let's uh, grab some algae. Things seem to be doing all right here. I don't think we wanted to actually grab that middle one, did we? We want to, I don't know, pop that out of there. Grab these. Um, oh, I wish I could get into having him a little bit better without him shooting me. Oh, well, stuff him. No one's interested in him. No one's interested in him. Uh, so what we are going to go do is <coughs> finish up this tree one, because that was definitely one we did. Uh, we're going to get some oak saplings and, oh, spruce or jungle. Spruce or jungle? I'm going to go with the jungle. I think. I mean, like, all sorts of things could go wrong with that. But that's the sort of thing we can expect around here. Sorry, I was just making sure there wasn't any, any noises going on. Uh, so the next job is definitely going to be, like, life support and stuff like that. But I think we're... A I did an extra lives. What? Which one says it's complete? Okay, so the only thing that I found anywhere is this one has got one in. And that's a 2%. So how's that 5% complete? I will never know. Obviously, something's going a little bit weird there. Okay, so next thing we need to do, and I think this is something we need to uh, put our mind to, is how are we going to keep all this stuff? There's a lot of stuff here now. There is a lot of stuff here now. And I'm on the verge of dying. But all that is going to have to wait for next time because I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure guys I will see you next time when we're going to sort out where we're going to store stuff you see we've got a storage quest up here we'll, we'll, we'll do that we're going to sort out um, some life support we're going to grow some trees got to grow some trees um, oh look there's a, uh, a rubber tree here as well all these things we're going to sort out and more next time and I will see you then when we're going to do that bye Quite badly, actually, when you need a drink.